Tommy Johnson is a 10 year old pediatric male. He comes in with asthma exacerbation. Tommy was diagnosed with asthma at the age of five years old. And for the past week, he has been coughing, wheezing, and complaining of being shortness of breath at least once a day. He has also been waking up in the middle of the night coughing. Um, he uses that albuterol inhaler when he has his exacerbations with relief and exercise and pollen trigger his asthma symptoms. He denies any fever, productive cough, nausea, vomiting, or any other symptoms. Again, he only uses the albuterol inhaler to puffs PRN for wheezing and shortness of breath. He has seasonal pollen allergies. Past medical history is just asthma, denies any surgeries or hospitalizations. Family history involves maternal grandmother deceased from breast cancer at the age of 68, and maternal grandfather has COPD. Tommy goes to elementary school, plays basketball, enjoys his neighborhood. He lives with his mom and dad and denies that anyone smokes in the house. He reports cough at night, wheezing, triggered by exercise and shortness of breath. Everything else in the review of symptoms was within normal limits. His weight is 68 pounds. He is four foot, eight inches tall, 37 degrees Celsius temperature. 88 beats per minute pulse, uh, blood pressure 100 over 70, and respiratory rate is 30. He has a healthy appearing pediatric male and no acute distress. His skin is warm brown, dry, and intact. His, he has symmetric chest wall, respirations are regular and easy. However, with auscultation, his lungs reveal expiratory wheezing in all lobes bilaterally. All other, um, systems are within normal limits. We did a few lab tests involving a CBC with differential, an O2 saturation, a pulmonary function test with a 77%, a peak expiratory flow of 160 liters per minute, which is 77% of predicted value, which reveals moderate persistent severity, and a urine specific gravity of 1.015. The differential diagnosis is bronchitis. Tommy has a cough that is worse at night and is triggered by exercise. However, his cough is not productive he, and he has a history of a chronic respiratory disease. He also hasn't had a fever or ronchi. Another one is pneumonia. Tommy has dyspnea, abnormal oscillatory findings. However, he denies fever, chills, sputum production, myalgia, or pleuritic pain. And our final diagnosis is asthma exacerbation, moderate persistent. Tommy has a history of asthma and his wheezing, dyspnea, and cough is not well controlled with his current regimen of asaba. Exercise is triggering his symptoms, causing exacerbation, and his PEF shows moderate persistent severity. Asthma is triggered by an irritant, which causes bronchial inflammation and increases mucus production. This causes wheezing, cough, and dyspnea. We would want Tommy to continue his albuterol HFA, 90 micrograms per puffs, two puffs every four to six hours for wheezing and shortness of breath, and start fluicilide aerosol solution inhalation at 80 micrograms per spray dosed at two puffs daily for a total of 320 micrograms per day. We would want him to identify and avoid triggers or modify his lifestyle so that he can tolerate the trigger like warming up before his sports and things like that. We would want to do a sweat test and a repeat PEF. Education, we would want to educate on the correct use of the inhaler, wash his mouth out after the inhaler to avoid thrush, create an asthma action plan, educate on signs of emergency, uh, educate on the correct use of the PEF to monitor treatment plan progress, and try to dust the house often, remove rugs, and discourage indoor pets. Tommy is a 10-year-old boy and can be easily embarrassed if he cannot fit in with his friends. Asthma might make him feel different, but it is important to include him in his normal activities and just modify so he doesn't have to suffer with his asthma. I would want him to continue with his yearly well child checks, continue getting immunizations, exercise 60 minutes a day, eat a healthy diet, and uh, limit to one hour of screen time a day. I would do a referral to a pediatric pulmonologist and allergist and follow up in 48 hours.